Hey, this is Man Made Mead. I have a, a quick video I want to do. This is kind of an update on the uh, Joe's Ancient Orange Mead. Um, I have both of my versions that I, that I did. Um, and just to remind you guys, if you've never heard, don't know what I did with this, or if you maybe haven't thought about it for a while, I did the Joe's Ancient Orange, which normally calls for bread yeast. And I decided I wanted to try both bread yeast and wine yeast. So what I did, was I did a bread yeast version, exact same ingredients except for the yeast. Um, I made one big pot of must basically, and then uh, went ahead, split all my ingredients in half, did the must in different containers, put my bread yeast, which is the normal recipe in one, and then wine yeast in the other, and let it go. And so here's what we have. Just some uh, quick differences, and I'll try to get a little zoom for you. You can kind of see, you can kind of see that the wine yeast, which is the right version right here, the wine yeast is not as clear as the bread yeast, and um, that's sort of an interesting thing to me. I thought they would, I uh, honestly thought it would be backwards that the wine yeast would be more clear than the bread yeast. It's a little bit hard to tell on camera. Um, it actually looks opposite to the, to, the, uh, to the eye, it's flipped. So this one is, um, is not as clear as this, which is okay, that's fine. Um, and then flavor-wise, I think there are a couple differences, but I, like I said, I wanna check, it's been a couple, it's been what, I racked these 1222, so it's been almost two months since I racked them. It's time to do a taste test, see what's really occurring, and then uh, decide what the next step should be. So let's go ahead and do that, let's get a taste test. All right, I have my two glasses, and um, to the eye and to the camera. This one right here, my left hand right now, this is the bread yeast, this is the wine yeast. They are very similar in color. Um, so, not to say that color notates much, but um, that is interesting, especially since I did a pineapple mead one time, and the pineapple mead uh, <laughs> came out, like kind of a different test, but came out completely two different colors, which was kind of fun. Um, so now I want to get a, a smell, kind of a taste test on them. The bread yeast smells stronger, has a more clear taste of like the cinnamon, the uh, the spices I put in, nutmeg, cinnamon, um, and hmm, definitely smells like it's like going to be a little stronger in like alcohol volume, but also flavor. Like I wonder if the flavor is imparted more with the bread yeast. Smell the wine yeast. Mm, not as strong of a smell. You don't get the spices nearly as much. You kind of get a little more orange though. You don't get as much orange in, orange in the bread, but you get more orange in the wine yeast, which is interesting. I'm gonna start with the wine yeast this time. Mmm, that's not bad. A little, um, I don't, I don't know what the gravity is on them now, if they, I thought they might have fermented out completely, but I don't know, I haven't taken a gravity reading in a little while. Still got a little sweetness to it, little kick. You get the orange, um, not a lot of that, the uh, spices, like I was saying. It makes me wonder if spices and like wine yeast don't ferment as well. Um, that could be a theory. very smooth though for being probably around 14 ish percent 12 to 14 percent alcohol uh, is very smooth very good um, you don't there's a little honey character not a ton of honey character though I would say overall the flavors are not very well rounded which is kind of interesting um, when I mean rounded I mean like honey provides like this warm flavor then you we have our citrus which provides like the sharp, the um, tangy kind of stuff. And then our spices are kind of in that middle ground. And you'd think that between all three of those things that we'd get this nice perfect circle of flavor that would be really smooth, easy to drink. And this um, has more of that tangy uh, side of it than anything else. So that's really interesting. It's not bad though, it's, it's pretty good. I'd drink a glass of that easily. Um, it's very, very palpable. Now, uh, here's the bread yeast version. Whoa. That's completely different flavor. 
very orangey, very um, citrusy. Again, not a lot of honey character. Yeah, that that tastes like you're you're biting into an orange. Um, wow, that's really interesting. I think age has helped it some because um, I think I don't think it was as great that when I first tried it. Uh, also, last time I tried it, I think there was a lot of yeast still in it, so the yeast probably affected the flavor some. But man, that is that is a definitely more rounded flavor. It doesn't have as much on the honey as I want, but the roundness of it, meaning like the spices and that the uh, uh, tang side, are very pretty pretty good. Man, that is great. I I think taste wise, I do prefer the uh, bread yeast and I think it just took some time for it to go and, uh, and the, the only problem with bread yeast and I think you can you can follow it by using a hydrometer and, and tracking it that way but if you don't do hydrometer readings and you don't do the right things you don't really know how much ABV it really went through or how much the ABV ends up being at. So with this um, I'm pretty sure it went if I'm not mistaken dry so it was at 12 to 14 ish percent but it doesn't taste like that. It doesn't taste like a heavy, heavy mead that you think with 14%. Yeah, that's really good. I much prefer the bread yeast. It's got more power, more, more character to it. And just like when you think this Joe's Ancient Orange flavor and what it's supposed to be um, calling back to the old days of making mead, the, e the ease of it, you know, bread yeast and throwing it in and letting it go, and blah, blah, blah. Um, this is probably close to what I think. This is not bad, but it doesn't have as much flavor and power behind that flavor. And really, if you if you read the, the label Joe's Ancient Orange, you're going to expect that kind of powerful flavor of orange and cloves and cinnamon and um, and just all those, the roundness, like I'm, I've been saying for a little bit there. Um, so I, I don't know, I much prefer this. I think that if you're going to make it, I would definitely stick to the bread yeast. I'm glad I ran the test, for sure. Um, my next step, I honestly don't think I want to um, back sweeten these a lot. I want to put a little bit of sweetness with it, especially this one right here. The wine yeast needs a little sweetness to help it out. But same thing for the bread yeast. I'll put a little bit. The, the issue is that I think the fermentation is still going to occur. And um, so I have two options. My option is one is I could stabilize the mead and then back sweeten it, meaning I kill that firm, any fermentation, possibility of fermentation really, and then uh, and then add honey, and that would allow me to be able to bottle it without running the risk of uh, bottle bombs or anything like that. Or I could let it sit for a long time, and then from there just wait until hopefully the yeast completely die out, at which point I would go ahead and try and back sweeten it and hope that the fermentation didn't kick in. Um, I didn't put enough honey into it to where the the bread the yeast would cap out and then there'd be residual sweetness left and that's okay. Um, this is the first time for me trying this recipe, so I figured why not, especially this test. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Should I wait and stabilize, or should I stabilize it, back sweeten it, do something with it, or should I just go ahead and wait a long time, then try to back sweeten and let it go? Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say, and uh, that'd be super awesome to get your input. So if you would do me one favor, go look down in the comment in the description. I have lots of links, a Patreon, a Facebook, um, all those things support me and uh, help us grow this community that we would call our mead making. And uh, it's a nice hobby and I hope that you guys will continue to support it and continue to be mead makers also while you buy mead uh, because we have to support our friends as well. So. Thank you guys for watching. Check the links down below. Let me know what you think about this. And then um, I will see you in the next video. So, see you later. Cheers.